Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to The Ever One, which is a horror game where you decide to do some urban exploration and things go horribly wrong. Okay. This is garbage. Um, not much else in her house. And as soon as we get in, we just die. Let <laughs> me see what happened. Just go down. What? What happened? Where am I? My head feels like I've been knocked out. It's a bad idea to explore this house. I need to get out of here. A picture of a woman. Whoa, I already found something. It's on your tape. Interesting. Can I play it? Twice a bone, even wanting one help it. Some old damn books. They'll probably fall apart when I try to open them. It's a box full of trash. Useless. Shite. Locked. A wardrobe, it's locked. Who likes a wardrobe of a padlock? Someone doesn't want you to open their wardrobe. <laughs> it's too dark here. I won't trip over something and break my head. What the? This wasn't here. An old camera. And a tape. The tape is signed your way. What is it all about? There's no one here. Someone's playing with me. Well, I wanted to check it out, right? I ironically like the detail of like putting down the chair and just sitting down. It's a small thing. Okay. I am controlling the found footage. Locked. It's like a Shit, I'm pretty sure that's the same building. Axe. Tools. Tools. Got a key. Unlock the padlock. Then go in the basement. Probably like Dino Monster or something. You know, usual stuff. An unusually big basement. And... There's an organ under the house. Camera light? There's never a video camera here. Uh, what? Who put that there? I'm losing my mind. Yeah, I don't like it. I'm gonna use this flashlight, though. Better take it. Are, are we in a found footage within a found footage? Are we securing this camera around? I'll leave it on the table. Oh, 
box being sturdy metal, it's locked. And also the insides. There's a lot of noise that's typically hearing an excited woman's voice. I guess it's just a text file. It worked. One step away, breaking back. So happy. Never mind what I thought. Achieve it. Camera, tapes, dimensions. I went crazy. Miraculously, it works. Chance. Scientific discoveries. More tests. There's even more stack and noise. When you thought this must be the end, you hear a clicking sound, and then the woman speaks again. This time, she's clearly disturbed by something. Not him. A mistake. How could I? A good idea. Still double over from another. It's not even close. But her world. Horrific and twisted counterparts. This thing. Abomination. Mimic a human. For some reason. Foolish. What did I deserve? Follow me. I can't let this happen. The tape just stops. Picture of a man. Outside the inside. It feels weird to watch them. It's like I wasn't just watching but actually being there physically. Found footage section. Blocked off from behind us. We just keep going deeper in life. More stairs. Creek. Garbage. We're going down more. I guess we're gonna drop. This is not smart. Welcome to the meat dimension. It's full of meat. Wait. We're gonna be trapped behind this. That's how it's gonna work. I have no idea what's going on. Why is there meat under this house? At least we're going up? Oh. Hmm. Pulsing meat. Not sure... where to go. Camera? Found footage within found footage of found found footage. It's probably like a square shaped room. So it's gotta be something more another orb. So we just now to ran like the background. That's where we came in. Number one key. Whoa. What? What was that? That was a jump scare. How is this happening? When I see certain things in these footages, they appear on the table. This key looks like something I've never seen before. This key's definitely not made from metal. It feels like it's pulsating. Meat key. Hmm. Well, it doesn't open that. It opens the, uh, box. 
Gordon Freeman. Don't need no key. Got a crowbar that doesn't break instantly. And there's a monster inside. The gate. This one's telling the gate. It, oh. It's still there. Never left. Welcome to the the meat tunnels? Oh no, I've been sucked in. I don't even get out of here. What was that? Something that's gonna eat you. That's yeah, just reasonably fast. I shouldn't dawdle. I should come right. I need to start cutting the corners a little tighter. This is the exit. Hurry! Wait, we're here. It's a come out of the camera. all alone and the door was open just like that. I still can't believe I managed to exit the house. Nothing and no one stopped me. Trauma of those events haunt me to this day. I can never trust the camera again. My friends didn't see the change in me at first, but you can't hide with your true emotions forever. I can't tell them. They won't believe me anyway. This is my burden I have to carry it myself. Is that it? No other attack or twist? It's not. The car was still there where I left it. It was time to go back. I'm still afraid that I'll see this thing when I turn around. But when I do, it's never there. It was an awful turn. Although in my head, it's still present. I don't mean every time I hear a sudden noise or have a bad dream. I think this feeling will eventually go away. As well my, as my phobia of cameras. I mean, it will, right? The road just goes through the trees? I know, sir. <laughs> and then the actual road is like, just a dirt path off to the left. Secret. So there's a toy here. Why does it smell like poop and garlic? Let's go back over here. Hey, he's gone. Huh. Weird. I just wanted to go home. Did you really? I just want to go back to this cursed place. There's nothing to see here. I was so tired. Found you. Oh, hi. Secret. <laughs> now what? As long as we deserted Forest Road, it's far better to take the car. Time to go back. 
I don't know if I actually saw it or if my stressed mind is playing tricks on me. I better not think too much about it. Oh no. I mean, we're all chill. But I focus on driving. I have a long road ahead of me. It's just, why do I keep smelling poo and garlic? The other, other one. What's happening? Oh. So, that's it for the other one. I guess this tape and camera was some kind of weird experiment into another dimension. Like using footage, so we were actually were going to these places. But then the thing was also kind of coming back through the other side, so... A relatively simple uh, horror short story. It's kind of like very outlined, like it is what it is, like... Someone went out somewhere, they discovered something weird, they discovered something weird, and then... Bad things happen and they don't quite know what happened, but... They escape. But yeah. Not a bad horror game. A little bit of interesting gimmick. Anyway, Sophie Kelf watched you play the other one. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.